Hello everybody. In the previous couple of lectures, we analyzed step response in RC circuits. Now our goal is to analyze step response in RL circuits, and you will see that uh, the idea that like techniques, the approach, uh, computations are almost same in RC and RL circuits. The only difference is the computation of time constant, which already covered when uh, analyzing the initial condition response. Okay, so still let's try to uh, remember our knowledge and how we can analyze these kind of circuits. Okay, we have a multiple source. Okay, resistor. And in this circuit, at time t equal to zero, we close the switch. And it's given that the initial condition of the uh, inductor uh, current is equal to zero, at uh, time is equal to zero minus, just before we close the switch. Okay, so we close the switch. Okay, we know the current is zero. Let's analyze the circuit. Okay, let's write a KVL. Okay, this is I. Okay, so minus Vs. Okay, Vs is constant. Uh, and it is the voltage source plus i times r okay plus that's good uh, v l is equal to zero or v of t okay and v of t is the inductor voltage that's good so we know that this is equal to i times r plus l times d i over d t is equal to v s that's good so what we can do that we can simply write this in this form okay so di over dt plus r over l times i is equal to vs okay that's good so uh, we know that i of t is composed of i homogeneous of t plus i particle of t okay so what is i homogeneous of t we know that I homogeneous of T is equal to C, some constant, e to the power minus T divided by tau, okay, and tau is equal to L over R. Okay, that's good. So let's move on. So what is particle solution? Particle solution is the same. Uh, that we uh, compute particles in the same technique, so we assume that it is constant because, so equality is constant, so let's assume that I particle of t is equal to some, uh, I don't know, d, okay? So it should satisfy the equation. So in that case, b times r is equal to uh, zero. No, this is zero. This goes to zero. Vs, so b is equal to Vs divided by r. Okay, that's good. So let's clean everything and try to write in a clean framework. So we know that, okay, so we know that i of t is equal to, so we don't know c, we will compute c, it's power tau plus b, which is equal to vs divided by r. So what is vs divided by r? As you can see, so as time is going to infinity, you will see that. Uh, the inductor will act like a short circuit, and what will be the current? Current will be equal to the voltage source divided by R. Technically, this is, okay, Vs divided by R is equal to I infinity or I steady state. Okay, it's important. Okay, so what is C? We compute the C using the initial conditions. Okay, so let's clean it here and let's clean it here. Okay, so technically, I zero is equal to okay C right times one plus V S divided by R and it is equal to zero because initial condition is zero. So C is equal to minus V S divided by R. Okay, so if we write this in a compact form, we will see that okay this. Okay, so uh, I infinity, so this is a general form. IL is equal to I infinity, which is a steady state current of the inductor, multiply with 1 minus e to the power minus t divided by tau, and as you can see, tau is equal to L over R. Okay, good. So be careful with this. Tau is equal to L over R. Okay, let's check. Everything is correct. Fine. So this is a I of t. As you can see, I of t starts from zero and reach its steady state. Okay, so it's like a flipped uh, exponential decay like uh, approach. Okay. So it reads it, its state state value at t is going to infinity. If we compute uh, the voltage, no, it's not Vs, it should be Vl, I guess. Okay, yeah, no, it's Vs, no problem. If we compute the voltage of the inductor, 
by simply taking the uh, derivative and multiplying L, we will see that uh, it is now an exponential decaying function. It starts from Vs, which is the uh, voltage source uh, at uh, t is equal to zero, and it will go to zero at t equals infinity. Why? Because uh, in the steady state conditions, inductor uh, acts like a short circuit, which means that the voltage across the inductor should always go to zero. Okay, so this is the basic idea. As you can see, the whole picture is very similar. Okay, so what happens if we have an initial condition? Okay, I zero. So uh, I of t is same. Okay, so expression of I of t is same. It's equal to C e to the power minus t divided by tau plus V s divided by r. Or well, instead of let's write it like this. Okay, because uh, let's try to keep it uh, general. Okay, so I zero is equal to C. Okay plus i infinity, it should be equal to i0. In that sense, c is equal to i0 minus i infinity. So if we write it, we can find the final form like this. Okay. Okay, so this is a general step response of an inductor-based first-order circuit. This is specific to our circuit because in this case, i infinity is equal to vs divided by r. We know i0. So if you plug everything, we find the result. Okay. But in general, for any first order inductor based circuit, okay, the computation of ILT, so inductor current as a function of time, is this. You compute the initial condition or it's given. You compute the steady state value or final uh, value of the current of the inductor. You compute the time constant. Then you simply uh, find the result. If you like, you can draw it. It can be like this or it can be like this, depending on the uh, initial condition. Okay, so uh, the take home message is computation of first order circuits, whether it's an RL or RC circuit, uh, depends on the same principles initial condition, final state state value, and time constant. Okay, the only main difference is time constant is different in these two circuits, and of course, computation of the state state value is also different because capacitor acts like an open circuit and inductor acts like a short circuit as t goes to infinity. Okay, let's solve an example. Okay, so uh, in the circuit, it's given that this switch is open. We open the switch as t equal to zero. So it means that when t is less than zero, it is closed. Okay, so uh, what we need to do is we first need to be, uh, analyze the behavior before t is less than zero and compute the initial condition and move on with that. Okay, when this switch is closed, what happens is Technically, the uh, resistor 3 ohm is eliminated because the current flows in this direction. Okay, so what is I0? I0 is equal to 10 volt divided by total resistance, which is equal to 2 ohm. And inductor is in short circuit mode because uh, we assume that right before zero, the circuit is in steady state condition. It is static, not dynamic. So it is equal to five amps. So we already computed I zero, which is equal to five amps. That's good. Okay, let's clean that. So, uh, okay, sorry for that. That's good. So what we need now, need to analyze this when T is greater than or equal to zero. Okay. So when t is greater than zero, we open the switch. Now we technically uh, integrate 3 ohm to the circuit. Okay, good. So what we need to do is now we have an RL circuit, we have an inductance, we need to compute the time constant. Okay, so what is time constant? It's equal to L divided by R. Okay, so 1 over 3 divided by what is equal to resistance? I think it is 5 seconds. So tau is equal to I think 1 over 15 seconds. Tau is equal to 1 over 15 seconds. That's good. Okay, so I will compute that. That's no problem. Okay, so we computed the tau, uh, which is uh, lower than uh, the previous examples. Okay, but this is more typical. Now, what is next is computing I infinity. At I infinity, what we do is the inductor again acts like a short circuit and we compute the current following the inductor under state state conditions. I infinity is equal to 10 volts divided by total resistance, which is equal to 5 ohm in this case. 
it is equal to 2f. So I infinity is equal to 2f. Okay, so what we do is we just plug them into the formula and find the time domain expression. Let's check if it's correct or not. Yes, I0 is 5 amps. V infinity, no, it's wrong. I infinity, so for that, it's 2 amps. Tau is 1 over 15 seconds. If you plug the formula, you find I L of t as a function of time. Okay, that's all uh, you technically need to know about uh, first order circuits. Uh, in terms of RS, RC, and RL circuits. Okay, I will show uh, another example on uh, RL circuits and step response. Then I will talk about op-amps and uh, energy storage elements.